Hello, my name is Martha Guvis Loizis, and I will be presenting on Netflix's business strategy. Netflix began in 1997 when founders Reed Hastings became fed up with the $40 in late fees on video rentals that he had to pay to Blockbuster Video. He, along with Mark Randolph, created Netflix. Netflix was created as a mail order DVD rental company that you could order your DVD rentals online and they would be shipped to your house. In 2000, nearing bankruptcy, founders Hastings and Randolph approached Blockbuster to sell Netflix for $50 million to become the online branch of Blockbuster. Blockbuster foolishly turned down the offer and Netflix made it through its tough times and continued to stay afloat by renting high quality DVDs as opposed to the poor quality VHS tapes. The high quality DVDs helped Netflix get through the dot-com crash. In 2002, Netflix went public and was valued at $310 million. By 2003, they had over 1 million subscribers. Wow, what a turnaround from tr trying to sell to becoming so successful in three years. Since its beginning, Netflix had used innovation in its business model. Initially, their innovation was centered on their method of distributing DVD rentals, which they offered in mail order and with minimum late fees compared to, compared to their counterparts like Blockbuster, Eventually, Netflix moved on from mail order DVDs to streaming services, proving to place convenience for the consumer at the focus of their company. In 2007, they began streaming in the US. Subscribers were able to view on laptops, smartphones, and new smart TVs. These newer smart TVs even had a red button on the remote control that said Netflix. In 2013, Netflix won its first primetime Emmy for House of Cards, its first original series. Since then, Netflix has created many original series such as Orange is the New Black, Glow, Ozark, 13 Reasons Why, and Stranger Things, just to name a few. When these series were released, an entire season was available. Consumers did not have to wait each week for another episode to become available. This led to binge watching, which I'm very guilty of. Netflix began to develop algorithms for their users, showing recommended watches based on the consumer's individual preference and previously watched programs, which made Netflix so successful with its ability to utilize strategy, technology, and good business models. Its alg algorithms was an impressive strategy choice because instead of having to pay to ship the latest movies to the consumer, the streaming service could determine the customer's preference. And instead of streaming a movie that would be preferable to the customer, not only did this generate more profit, but it also allowed Netflix to expand without losing money. The company utilized technology when it moved to an online streaming service while using its new algorithm, the company was able to offer streaming at a faster speed as long as the customer had access to the internet. As internet connectivity improved, Netflix was, Netflix was able to improve their streaming service and expand. I know that when we had um, our internet connectivity was not strong, it was very hard sometimes to watch um, streaming services but um, it has improved greatly since the early 2000s. Finally, Netflix adapted a business model that used a monthly subscription fee, which allowed users to select a movie or a television show from a huge variety. Over the years, competition has heated up and streaming services are becoming an extremely competitive market. There are more and more companies that are jumping on the streaming trend. Since Netflix does not own the rights to all streaming services, companies such as Amazon, Disney, Apple, and Hulu have created online streaming services of their own, each with their own brand of original movies and series. 
Seeing the success of Netflix, these companies saw streaming as a great opportunity to expand in the entertainment industry. As a result, the streaming industry is becoming extremely competitive. Many of these companies differ in that several are divisions of larger companies. For instance, Amazon Prime Video is a division of Amazon. Disney Plus is a division of Disney. Others such as Hulu are joint ventures. Hulu is owned by both Disney and NBC Universal. Hulu is even more unique because it airs episodes of popular television shows the day after they initially air on TV. With the increase in competition, it is likely that there will be more innovation to create new streaming services though it is also likely that the streaming service market will become overly saturated to the point where the services actually begin to lose profit. By 2010, Netflix was now offered in Canada. And in 2011, it started to be offered in some Latin American countries. And um, it was followed by it expanded in 2012 to some European countries. And since then, it just keeps expanding and going to more and more countries. Netflix seems to have an, an opportunity to expand internationally, although it faces several challenges in doing so. For instance, it will have to create a content that appeals to international audiences. This includes making movies or television series that are in languages native to the foreign countries. Netflix has already started on this, such as with the Spanish-speaking audience with its Academy Award-winning film Roma. While it would be to the company's advantage to expand to almost 200 countries at once, it would be impractical unless Netflix would be able to simultaneously release contents that is designated for the different international audiences all at once. It is very unlikely that this would be able to they would be able to expand quite as quickly. Um, it's very expensive. Therefore, it would be better for them to take a more gradual approach. One challenge that Netflix faces will likely be um, as it expands into international markets with the competition from different streaming services already in those markets. Uh, China, Canada, the Netherlands, and many, many other countries have their own streaming services. Netflix can address this by offering more content at a cheaper price than, than those existing services. Also, several of the other US-based streaming services might also expand into the international arena, which will create even greater competition. If Netflix makes the move into international markets first, which it has started to, it will have the advantage of setting up in the different markets before the other streaming services. Finally, there is the issue of creating content that appeals to different international audiences without it costing too much. Um, and to be able to create this, it's not so simple to be able to create all that. Though Netflix has already started, it must increase the pace if it wants to be successful. Uh, one thing that they could do is they can uh, use subtitles, which they do already, or have it dubbed in all the different languages. I know sometimes. Um, when I try to watch different movies, um, they, they look like a great selection. And then I click on it and I realize that it's in French or Portuguese or you know, Spanish and I don't understand uh, those languages. So um, I press on the subtitle, I either read the subtitle or I, see I check to see if it's translated. And I have to say, I have enjoyed quite a few shows that have been in um, different languages. Um, I hope you enjoyed my presentation and um, thank you for watching.